Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to reduce the number of faces, the number of polygons, the number of triangles of any 3D models in Icron 7.9. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. For example, now if you are in your Icron 7, now you have a prop, for example. Now I have an APM prop here. And by pressing Ctrl F, you can toggle the information. You can see that once you double click, once you double click, the selected triangle you totally have 2845 triangle. This is this is quite a high poly. This is a high poly model. And how can you know? Once you magnify, you zoom in, you can see for all these edges. These are high poly models where everything looks very smooth. So it occupied many faces, the selected triangle, it is over 2000. But sometimes we just want to put inside the scenes and just view it from far away. We no need such a big high poly 3D models. So how are we going to reduce the number of selected triangle for the particular 3D model? So you need to have another software that is called Blender. Use the Blender, get the Blender. You can scroll down, go to my video description to download the Blender for free. Once you get the Blender ready, then I'm going to show you step by step how to use the Blender to help you to reduce the polygons of the Icon 3D model. All right now, I open the Blender that I already installed. And after that, from your Icon 7, you double click and select it. Next, you just temporarily export it as FBX. Click File, Export, FBX. And then the Target 2 preset, you choose Blender. FPS, it's 30 FPS. This one, it doesn't matter, you only want the current frame. And then remember to take and bit the texture. Then click Export. As demo, I will export it on my desktop. The file name, I will just name it as ATM High Poly. All right, now this is the original ones. Save it as FBX file here. The ATM High Poly. Next, you open your Blender, delete everything, and then click Import. Click File Import FBX. As demo, I already save it on my desktop. ATM high poly. I double click in. Now I can see my ATM machine is here. Click here is to turn on the texture. All right. Next, you can just have a look. This is a high poly no a high poly model. We are going to reduce the number of polygons. All right. You right click here. Take. Thin static state. Then you can see the number of faces is 2845. It is exactly what you can see, what you have shown in Icron 7. Now we want to take it easy, reduce it. Alright, you click the 3D models, it automatically already selected the particular mesh. Then you have to click here. Add a modifier, decimate. You can see the ratio is 1. And then the face count is 2845. Ratio is 1. We are going to reduce it. This is 1. 1 means complete. Then I click here, I make it to become 0 0.2. For example, once I press enter, you can see the number of faces already reduced to 569. And now we can have a look on the edges, how it reduce it. Now you can see at the beginning, it is very smooth. If it is one, now I recover it back to one, it is very smooth. I reduce it, reduce the number of faces now. Become 0 
In general, everything still looks the same. Let's drag it here. At least you need to reserve to make it look like the original. Now it's 0 0.2, how about 0 0.1 and per? 0 0.1 still acceptable and you can see it is no more smooth but if you just want to put this ATM machine from far away and view from far away, it is okay. It save your, your GPU and CPU resources if you just put, put it as low poly models in the scene. So now you can see the faces, the ratio is 0 0.1, the, the, face, the faces already reduced from 2800 into 10% of it, 284. At this moment, we are going to export it. All right. You must click and select the mesh, then you click File, Export, export the FBX, and then as demo, I will export it on my desktop again. I, I name it as ATM, for this time it's low poly. ATM low poly. And you always remember, you want to export it, the path modes, you must choose copy and stick here. This is to embed the texture. If you don't choose so, then the texture will lost. The texture will be missing. So now the path mode, I choose copy. Here, I take it to highlight it. Then click export. Export on my desktop. The file name is ATM low poly. I click export FBX now. All right, now this ATM low poly is already here. In your icon 7, if you put in drag in the low poly, the ATM low poly, I drag in and put it here. So now let's have, let's compare about it. Right. So now you have a high poly, you have a low poly. The high poly, if you, if you render it very near, you can just see all the very smooth parts. But the low poly, you can just put it far away, it doesn't matter. And you double click it, you check the texture. This one, it don't have any of the specular or reflections. This one from Blender, got extra roughness and metallic. We can just click and delete it, click and delete it. It should be exactly the same as the original, the, the original 3D model props that come from iClone 7. And this prop, you can save it, the ATM low poly, just go to the custom. This is under the prop, custom, prop. And then you click plus to save it. Save it as the ATM low poly. And next time you can use it over and over again. So you can put lots in your scene. Everything will look, look like the same. Right. That's all for today about how to reduce the polygons, the, the number of faces, the number of triangles of any 3D models in iClone 7 and make it from high poly to become a low poly model to save your, your system resources. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy animation and game developing. See you!